Today is Monday, April 11th, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's currently 63 degrees and partly cloudy in Syracuse. I'm Tyler O'Neill. Here is what you need to know. Syracuse University's fraternity Phi Kappa Psi has been placed on disciplinary and social probation until May 2024. The fraternity was placed under investigative status in February, but after conducting proceedings, the fraternity was found responsible for violations of the Code of Student Conduct. During the probation period, the chapter cannot host social activities. Citrus TV has called their national headquarters for a statement but have not heard back. Chancellor Kit Severud is looking for nominations for a new faculty athletic representative. The representative acts as a chancellor's and provost advisor for all matters involving the NCAA and ACC and is also a liaison between athletics and ac academics. Today, Syracuse lawmakers approved spending to keep sending mental health workers to 911 calls with Syracuse police. The city will use $257,000 of federal stimulus money to support the program through June 30th, 2023. Deputy Mayor Sharon Owens says we know it's expensive, but we know it's needed. Governor Kathy Hochul approved alcohol to go drinks as a part of the new state budget. Alcohol to go will stay in New York for at least the next three years. Allowing to go drinks will help restaurants generate more business as the pandemic continues. And coming up on News Live at 6, last night more than 50 firefighters fought two house fires in Ackerman Avenue. Citrus TV reporter Nicola Ponte will join us live from outside the houses with more on the story. That's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. For more of the latest, follow us at Citrus TV News on Twitter or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Tyler O'Neill. Have a great evening, Syracuse.